Do I have something here? Is it right there? Ah, okay, who cares? Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but I'm always on the go, busy, traveling, business meetings, meeting friends, trying to set up my YouTube channel, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I don't have a lot of time for like these big recipes. So I've got a really quick and easy recipe for you today. It's just several ingredients, one pan. So obviously you know what that means. We gotta head to the store. What we're making today is garlic herb chicken. It only needs one pan. Throw all the ingredients in in 20 minutes and let it all come together. So like I said, quick and easy. That's what we like. Well, I had to stop and get gas. At least this time I have my crew with me, so they're gonna like pump gas for me. Hand if you don't mind. I hope this is the only gas we'll be getting today. And we're here at Ralph's picking up our ingredients. We need some chicken, we need some garlic, we need some oregano, we need some asparagus, we need thyme. We can always use more thyme. Chicken, spices, minced garlic, and extra virgin olive oil. Asparagus, flowers for mom. Got everything. Got everything, time to go. Today we're making garlic herb chicken with asparagus. I got my chicken over here, got my asparagus. I have my herb mix, which is oregano, thyme, and basil uh, with a little bit of onion powder. Then I have my extra virgin olive oil minced garlic and my butter that I need to put in the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the butter in the pan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic in first. It says about a tablespoon. That's good enough. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stick the herbs in. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick my chicken in. Smells pretty damn good. Little pepper, a little salt, we're just waiting for the chicken to brown on one side and then we're going to flip it and do the other side. It's like watching chicken cook. It smells good though. No, I still need some more. Right, now it's time to flip the chicken. So I flip the chicken over on the other side. I'm gonna move the chicken off to the side a little bit so I can get my asparagus in here. And then I'm gonna add some more butter. Maybe I should've put some of the butter underneath. Add a little bit more salt and pepper. There we go. And let that butter melt. It's really smelling good now. Spreading the asparagus around a little bit. It's almost done. Asparagus is just cooking through. Just uh, moving stuff around so the asparagus cooks evenly. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks good. stab it if it slides off then it's done so it's slid off it's done I'm gonna go ahead and put individual servings on a plate see how it looks and then see how it tastes all right now let's try to check this out I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of the asparagus damn that's good asparagus now my pea is gonna smell <laughs> and now Time to try the chicken. How does that look? Looks pretty good to me. Mm. 
Wow, well, all the recipes that I've made so far, this one's pretty good. Taste the garlic. The asparagus is almost perfect. I like it. Time for lunch. So peace out, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Just over this last week, I just went over 600,000 uh, subscribers, which is amazing. I want to say thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'm going to keep coming up with great videos and everything. And I hope you guys like them as much as the, the past ones. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Okay, what I heard to check the asparagus, you stab it. And if it slides off, it's done. Guess what? It's not done. Watch me break it. <laughs> Headshot. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians. Ah, I seen this one. Oops. <laughs>